when I see you, I'll <laughs> you. I'm gonna report you to the police right now. Ma'am. Ma'am. Screw the lobby, I'm the mess, I'm the press go. What's good? So today, I'm gonna be pranking my moms for the second time in a row. Last time I did this, a few of you guys posted comments like this, and this one, and this one. But if you guys think that was too far. Wait until you guys see this prank today. Today I came up with this funny, funny scheme. I'm going to be posing as a fake loan slash repair collision dealership and giving my mom a call and telling her that we're going to be repoing her car because she missed payments on her loan and we know where she lived. Now, if anybody knows my mom like I know her, she could have some hood moments in her. When I say hood moments, hood moments. I hope and pray she fall for this and she can't tell that this is my voice, so I'm going to have to put on a character. We're going to do this together. We're going to make up a whole character. We need to come up with a name for this character so he can be believable. Um, name. Hmm, let me see if I can come up with something. Here we go. John Perrymore. Yeah, that'll do. So next, what we need to do, company name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Company name. Got it. Are you kidding me, John Perrymore? That is the most shadiest name I ever heard in my life. And on top of that, you got Janky Auto Loan and Repair. Oh my gosh. I got my name, I got my company, and I got my victim. Now, I need to get a costume. One second. Oh! oh, 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 oh he needs oh. some milk! My name is John Perrymore. And I work for Janky Auto Loan Repair. And we want our money. So I have this app on my phone that will help me disguise my number and create a fake number so they would think that it's realistic. Because if they see my number, they're going to see it's Virginia number. So I have to disguise it with enough Carolina number so they won't know it's me. Let's give her a call. She did not answer. <sighs> I'm gonna give it a little bit and I can give her another call later on and see if it works. She is terrible at answering her phone. Hello? Uh, uh, is, is this Yes, it is. Who is that? Uh, this is uh, John Perrymore over at uh, Janky Auto Loan and Repair. Okay. Um, so, do you, do you have a 2018 Why? So, pretty much is, uh, in our records, what we seen is you are behind payments on your car and your loan has been transferred over, over to us. And we're, we're trying to see if we can collect or if not that, we have to come pick up the car. She hung up on me. <laughs> I'm gonna call her back. Hello. How can I help you? Miss, Mrs. Manning. I don't know you. No, no, no. How you got my number? No, 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 ma'am, ma'am, listen, please, 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 don't hang up. I'm not trying to scare you or anything. I'm j I just want to get to the bottom you of- You you're not scaring me. Okay. Look, look. Oh, bro, she keeps hanging up on me. She sent me straight to voicemail. You know what? I'm gonna call my dad and I'm gonna have him mention John Perry more and see if he can get her to pick up the phone and talk to him. Hello? Hey, dad. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to mom? Yeah, yeah, uh, they should call me right now. Wow, what's up? I'm doing a prank on her right now and I need her to believe it so she can pick up the phone. Tell her, like, yeah, a guy named John Perry Moore is calling about the car and I need you to talk to him. Uh, I don't know what he's calling about, but I can't pick up his phone. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, bye. That's what I'm talking about. My dad is coming through the clutch, man. That's what's up. That is what's up. Oh, she is calling. Hello, John Perrymore. May I ask who are you? <sighs> Ma'am. And why you keep calling my phone? So I am John Perrymore at Janky Auto Loan Repair. Okay. Your car is past due on a couple payments, correct? No, 
They're not. My paperwork is reflecting that you guys are behind 600 payments. Now I, I contact your husband and he told me to contact you because you will understand it more. He verified information with me saying that you guys own a 2018 he told you what? If you knew I was late behind my payment, you would know what kind of car I needed. He didn't need to tell you what kind of car I was. Ma'am. Why are y'all trying to do a scam? No, ma'am. This, this is not a scam. I'm going to report you to the police, police right now. Ma'am. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, my God. This went terribly south. I'm trying to get in contact with her. Mama. What? Hey, who who is this dude, John Perry Moore? He keeps calling me. I don't know who he is. He he said that you guys are like behind payments or something like that. And I guess uh, if I can help make make the payments or something like that. It's a scam. It's a knife. I guess it's like legit or whatever. And I gave the company a call and they put me like on like some a hold or something like that. Ford supposed to call me if I'm behind. Let me call Ford. I'll call you back. Ma. What? Mama. Why are you mad? Don't let me go and kill before I nut up in this office, please. Ma, ma, okay. Ma, 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 ma. No, 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 no. Oh, I think I took it too far, y'all. I feel like a complete idiot right now. Like, my dad just texted me and told me to let the prank go. She's getting upset. Oh, no. Ma, wait. It, it, it's a prank. It's me. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, you there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. Mikhail. <laughs> I love you. When I see you, I'll you. Oh, you know I just went off on Anthony. I know. He, he texted me. He was like, yo, let the prank go. She, she's getting upset. I mean, he, he was in on it a little bit. I asked him, I said, do you got pranking me? That's the first thing I said. He could have gave me some kind of hint. Y'all gonna stop playing. I love you. Nah. <laughs> I could hear it in your voice. I was like, should I let it go? I was like, nah. I want. I wanted to get that ultimate reaction from you, but you weren't giving it to me. So I had to dig deep. Your husband gave me information, and I knew that would set you off. If I would have been at home, man, you was gonna get the Can business. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I love you. I love you too. I love you more, but I'm gonna kill you when I see you. I might whoop your ass with a belt. No, there's no need for that. No, you ain't gotta do all that now. It's just, just you, a prank. When you go back to Virginia, you're gonna have a well whooped ass. I might not catch you, but I'll wait till you go to sleep. That's oh. abuse. And put, put some Vaseline on you. Whoop your ass. Okay, okay, that's. So exactly like I said, people, I got the reaction that I wanted. I really wanted her to pop off and go crazy, but she couldn't because she was at work and I heard her get a little bit emotional and I, it hurt my heart. It hurt my heart so much to hear her to begin to cry. But I had to end the joke. Whew. If you guys like this prank, please let me know in the comment box below. Don't forget to like, share this video. If you're new to my channel and you want to join the student nation, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the bell for all the latest notifications of my videos, comment, comment stu It's a scam. It's a scam. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell. Click the bell. What? What? My channel. My channel. Click the bell. Click the bell. And hashtag hashtag do do do. Click the bell. Do do do. Click the bell. Do do do. Nation. 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 In doing that, you will ensure your spot in the comment winner contest for my next vlog. Now I have to go call my mom and make sure she okay. Your boy Stu.